this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That, home of the Sublimation Box Club. For today's tutorial, I'm working from our September 2023 box titled, Home for the Holidays. See the description down below for all the items included in this box. These items can also be purchased individually on our website, www.subthisandthat.com. In today's tutorial, I am sublimating this 11 ounce coffee mug and spoon set. How cute is this? How stinking cute. Pardon the nails, guys. But how stinking cute is this? So I'm going to use this as... I'm going to just call it winter, not specifically Christmas, but winter. I make cocoa bombs. I am a, I am a baker, so usually in the winter time, I'm, I have lots of cocoa bomb orders. I also like to give them out as gifts, so I decided to decorate this mug. And here's my design um, based around cocoa bomb theme. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the spoon. I have my cloth here. I'm going to give it a little squirt, a little alcohol mist, and I'm just going to wipe this down. This is my equivalent to lint rolling, right? I use a little alcohol mist to remove any debris from the product. Next, I am going to take my design and go ahead and place it on the mug and I'm going to line it up. That is perfect, just where I want it. So I'm going to tape this down. And now that I have this side, I'm going to redo this side again, but now I'm going to pull as tight as possible and then tape this down. Now, I do have a tumbler press. However, my preference for my coffee mugs with handles is to use my convection oven. The reason I prefer my convection oven is because with the tumbler press, you can't get right up on the handle. You can get pretty close, but the pressure applied is not the same. I just did um, three coffee mugs the other day and I thought, well, I did four coffee mugs and I thought, let me use my tumbler press. I've used it before, um, but when I have a full bleed design, I absolutely prefer to use my convection oven just because I can get the pressure right up on the handle. So with that said, now that I have my design wrap, I'm also gonna take a piece of copy paper and I'm gonna repeat the process. And this copy paper is to protect my mug wrap. When I do coffee mugs in my convection oven, I use an, an 11 ounce mug wrap. And that basically puts a squeeze on it in the same manner that shrink wrap, shrink wrap would. So here is my uh, mug wrap. And I'm going to go ahead. Sorry if I may shook the camera. I just hit the camera. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to bring this in closer. Okay, so have the mug wrap on. And it's very snug. And then if you are using a tumbler press, you want to put this in your tumbler press at 365 degrees 
for 200 seconds. If you're using a convection oven, you want to put it at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to do about roughly 13 because I don't have a full bleed design where there's ink all over the place. There are a lot of white areas in my design. So I'm going to do 12 to 13 minutes. Make sure if you are using a convection oven that you have an oven thermometer so that the accurate time of your oven is displayed. The time on your dials on your convection oven and the actual temperature on the inside are not always the same. So please, 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 please make sure you are using an oven thermometer in your convection oven. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we are in for a special treat because I forgot to start my timer. Set the timer, put it in the convection oven, but literally never set the timer. So I kind of had to guess at some point when I realized, hey, this thing should have been going off. So fingers crossed. When you remove it from your convection oven, know that it's hot, especially if you're using um, a wrap. Those, uh, the metal clamps are definitely hot, so you don't want to touch those. This handle is still pretty hot as well. I am going to leave on the glove for me to hold and then go ahead and peel off the paper and let's see. Not too bad. I do want to note, <laughs> don't be alarmed. This white that you see, that is actually part of my design. It's supposed to look like chocolate. Well, coffee mug says, you're the bomb. And at the bottom are actual instructions on how to get your bomb to explode. So I did not have enough pressure right there. So either I didn't have it in there long enough, which I have no idea, but all in all, not too bad. Just have to work on what that pressure point was on that side. But overall, still love the product. And this is great for the winter, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. Imagine having these when you're putting up the Christmas tree and everybody's decorating the tree and we all have our cups of hot cocoa or hot tea or even coffee. Um, these are great additions. Put the family's name on them so each individual person has their personalized mug and this will go a long way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.